question two. The second question that we had to answer by the spirit of grace. Did I give you references for this? Write for who am I? First John 3 and verse 1. Then Matthew 5, 13 to 16. First John 3 and verse 1. Then Matthew chapter 5, 13 to 16. Very quickly, let me give you the second question. Where am I from? This is powerful. This question attempts to help you understand your source and your connection. For many years, I did not understand the value of answering this question. Where am I from? Because the Bible says in John chapter 3 and verse 31, John 3, 31, He that cometh from above, He that cometh from above, He that comes from the West is most likely a Westerner. He that comes from the East is most likely an Easterner. He that comes from the North is a Northerner, a Middle Beltan, and so on and so forth. He that comes from America is most likely an American, and so on and so forth. And wherever you come from, you will also be a victim of the limitations that are domiciled there. Did you get this? So when the Bible says, he that cometh from above, the revelation there is that even though I have a natural descent, I come from a place plagued with advantages and disadvantages like we all have, but that you sustain an orientation that even though I am from Lagos, Port Harcourt, I'm from America, I'm from UK, I'm from Bauchi, wherever I am from, my real origin is not the place that I feel in a form. My real origin is that I come from above. And the Bible says by reason of that source, there is something within you that is consistent with where you come from. And eventually it will emerge. Are we together? John chapter 1, 6 and 7. The Bible says there was a man sent from God whose name was John. I've taught you here whose name was Joshua Selman. Verse 7, the same came for a witness to bear witness to the light that all men through his witness might believe. Say I come from above. Listen, look at me. When you say I come from above, I like you to see yourself rising above causes. Rising above that thing that says women return back to their husbands' homes. Men return back to their, where did they return back to now? Their parents' homes. Are we together? People rise and fall, minus me. Oh, minus me, in the name of Jesus. Anybody waiting for a war tomorrow is waiting forever. Uh -uh. There is an immunity. There is, there is a jealousy that holds and defends us. Hallelujah. Are we together? He that cometh from above. Listen, I learned this mentality, not just from... Dr. Miles Monroe, but also from Smith Wigglesworth. I read one of his books and it, it, it opened the fountains of my faith. He that cometh from above. You cannot solve any problem thinking at the level of that problem. You must believe you are higher than it before you are able to solve it. He that cometh from above is above all. He that cometh from above. I'm a proud Nigerian. Very proud of my nation. I tell you unashamedly proud of my nation but I can tell you one thing I come from above the color of my skin looks Nigerian but watch the results you will know that it comes from a realm that is not even earthly are we together God is helping you solve something here so when people look at you and say you come from this region you people are angry people. You come from this region. You are jealous people. You come from this region. You don't live long. They may be right by your natural descent. But remind yourself that I have been called out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation. Are we together now? Say, I come from above. Say it convincingly. I come from above. Yes, sir. Nathaniel looked at Jesus and said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Jesus was not offended because from an earth standpoint, Nathaniel was right. I've taught you here, 
Remember, Samson was a Nazarene. They didn't have longevity of impact. Something would happen to them and bring them down. But Jesus said, minus me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come from above. That is why the power I carry is from above. That is why when I speak to you, the result comes from above. Because I come from above. The Bible says, set your mind, your affection on the things that are above. Listen, this revelation has helped me in ministry. I have never, with all due respect to my nation, I have never done ministry like a Nigerian. I have never acted just with the mindset of a limited, uh, a limited mindset. When I hear people abuse Africa and say all kinds of things, I respect them, but I know that we are a superior breed. Here's what the Bible says. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. Say it again, I am from above. You may not see that in my speaking. You may not see that in my, the color of my skin, perhaps. You may not see that in, in my, my body, my size and all of that. But there is a divine ability. We are born of the Spirit. Does a man lay hand on a man and heal the person by his strength? No. It takes a man plus something divine. Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night and says, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher sent from God. For no man can do these miracles which thou doest except God be with him except God be with him except God be with him we look like ordinary men but we can speak to nations and speak to the gates of nations to be open and if you ask why it is not just the size of my hand the size of my mouth what I'm saying it is because we come from above if you know that you come from above you will know that that business will not fail you will know that that destiny will not fail that even though my beginning is small there is something from above that does not allow me to be a failure so when you fail as an event you dose yourself and, and square up and know that the champion is still imagined. Hallelujah. This is the mindset we had. Right from the days of infancy when we were organizing small crusades. With small people, limited resources. Full of all kinds of troubles that were evolving. Beyond our knowledge. From above. I knew that one day I would give to nations. I knew that one day I would lend to nations. I saw it from scripture. I have no apology for being a blessing. None whatsoever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say I come from above. There is no power anywhere. Whether from whatever village. Whatever. whatever. Thankfully thank God for my traditional rulers who came here. And thank God for the efforts that they are making, dedicating my place to the Lord. Make up your mind. If they say you come from a place where your great-grandfather was a priest and the thing was, is now looking for you, you better say I'm not available. I am not available. I am already a priest unto God. Oh, it's looking for you and if you don't come, it will kill you. Everything tying you down connected to where you are coming from everything tying your destiny down you've seen it held hold those who went ahead of you you've seen it hold your father your mother maybe untimely death maybe failure maybe rising and falling in the name of jesus with this above mentality i curse that spirit now i curse that spirit now i curse that spirit now I curse that spirit now. I curse that spirit now. Everywhere God wants to take me, I believe I can go. Everything he wants me to do, I believe I can do. I respect everyone on earth, but in the name of Jesus Christ, it will not be at the expense of my self-confidence. That is not a wise bargain. The noblest honor any man can be given on earth is to be the son of God. The only other position in my opinion that is greater than that or that is after that is the position of a monarch. Because if you're a monarch, you stay there till you die. Presidents and prime ministers come and go and they have eight years perhaps 
some have stretched it to decades but it still ended but this status there is no taking it from me hallelujah can't be a slave to fear I come from above I'm living in Abuja the geography of my witness is Abuja but in the name of Jesus any spirit you may have heard me tell you this years ago true story and I want you to listen to me just to buttress on this point then I was not in Abuja I remember coming and I I boarded a cab and whilst we were traveling the man said something that blessed me he said he, he, you know he was speaking in pidgin and here's what he told me he said that he I think he went somewhere to consult with some medium and they told him that there was a spirit in this city that if you hold money in this city it must finish in this city so he was advised that every time he gets money he will run out of the city and go and start a project he was about to finish it I was listening to him while he was speaking he I think they consulted with some medium and the man was giving him his word of knowledge and you find out truly from an ed standpoint is true many people earn so much and after decades they do not have any even even a piece of land something just drains them completely is because you think that your supply comes from here the day you understand that i come from above i come from above i refuse to be limited by what limits men i come from above as a man of God, you must believe this. An above mentality is a victor's mentality. Hallelujah. Now, it does not mean you will ignore reality. For instance, a bag of rice is still what it is now. Hello? You are still from above. But a bag of rice is still what it is now. Saying in my mind, a bag of rice is five naira is not what I'm teaching you to know. A bag of rice is not five naira. A superior thinking is that while we are praying for it to go down so everybody can afford for me an exemption has been designed in my life by reason of where I come from so your lamentation becomes a national one not a personal one as for me I have defined my possibilities do you believe what you are hearing koinonia will only keep rising by the spirit of the Lord because this was not a man's idea it was a heavenly vision received by men executed by grace supervised by his jealousy it will not fail the defense is too much is someone learning where are you from you need to know where you're from you are not answering where are you from when you are filling your form fill your village but in your mind, say above. Above through my village. Above through Kaduna State. Above through Plateau State. Above through Lagos. Someone prophesy. Above through whatever your village is. Listen. Many of you travel transcontinentally. And there's what they call connecting flights. You go to a nation, you have no business visiting the nation. But you just have to be there as a stop point for a few hours to get to your final destination. Am I right on that? Aha. Uh -huh. So, if you find me, say, if I'm traveling, say, to America and you find me in UK, you are asking, what are you doing here? I tell you, I'm on transit. My final destination and where I'm coming from are the two most important things. Are we together now? You came from above. And by his wisdom, God passed you through where he passed you. So it doesn't matter. You are still on transit. Hmm. I come from above. The limitations of my territory will never find expression in me. By faith, I rise above it. If it's untimely death, it stops with me. If it's failure, it stops with me. If his people rise in and then after 10 years they come down minus me. I'm prophesying for myself. Make sure you don't keep quiet. In the name of Jesus. If his people having a track record of consistently burying their children minus me. Are you still speaking? If it's something where you give birth to irresponsible children. In the name of Jesus it dies with you. He that cometh from above is above all. Above all.